Hi there, and welcome to uh, a very special pilot episode of, uh, I don't really, it's a working title, but uh, Lego Mental Health and You. Uh, in this series, we're going to um, just be discussing Lego as a therapy, Lego as a... Um, aid in, in uh, helping with different mental illnesses. We'll be looking at studies um, done of mental, uh, done on using it. We'll be looking at people who have, it has affected uh, their life in a positive way. And um, we'll be looking at Lego and just being silly and joking around uh, to try to bring some joy back into all of our lives um, as a therapeutic tool. Um, so this is going to be a pretty lighthearted start. Um, I'm going to build a hyper rare new poly bag and we're going to discuss uh, some ideas we have for the show. I mean, there's there are a lot of channels that deal with mental health issues. Um, on YouTube. There are a lot of Lego channels on YouTube. There aren't a lot that deal with both. Um, so there's going to be some seriousness when we get into like actual medical studies and actual illnesses. Um, some of which are, you know, are going to be, will hit home closer, you know, depending on, on the viewer. And on me myself, um, hit closer to home. And but we'll try to cover all, all things. There are a lot of studies on on uh, Lego uh, as used as treatment for autism. Really good results. There's a lot of results with kids. Uh, a lot of uh, studies done with kids. Sorry, not results. Studies. There's less less studies available on adults with mental health. So maybe we can um, travel through and discover some of that on our own, you know. And um, kind of figure out where in this world that adults can can fit into the equation, you know, A falls and, and the like. And uh, different positive things that, that that everyone's had. Whatever. I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. This is um, going to be the first episode. And it's going to be super intense. Just kidding. I don't know. And so we're going to have all types of emotional ups and downs. And I hope that you will be here to go through it with me as we take a journey through uh, things that are, you know, there are stigmas attached to mental illness. And the thing is, is I don't actually look at it as an illness um, just because it's uh, a different way of thinking than the rest of society doesn't make it wrong. And, uh, so sometimes there's a lot of good that comes out of, especially the way that your brain works when you have ADHD and stuff can sometimes be really, really positive And you, you think in a different way that actually is beneficial because, um, people without the affliction can't use their brain in that way um so there's been a lot you know a lot of things a lot of positives here so that's what we're going to try to address is on the positives i mean everyone's familiar with feeling bad sad angry well, that's not what we're here for that's pretty that's what we're trying to get away from and we're trying to make a make a show that's going to, you know, help you guys help 
maybe help people who don't realize that Lego could be there for them or that they could use it. Under, oh, he'll just defocus. What if I like that? So a lot of, I mean, when we're not talking about serious stuff, a lot of it will probably just be um, horsing around and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's not going to be like a brutally like serious thing, but it's going to be fun and hopefully, and it's going to be enlightening and it's going to be so great and wonderful and all that crap. Uh, we're just, so as of, for this episode, I don't have a lot um of like deep thoughts ready to rock for whatever I do have. I've been researching this and looking at different options for discussion. And uh, if you have any thoughts or ideas, you can leave them in the comments. Uh, definitely appreciato, appreciato that. And um, so, yeah, make sure you let me know uh, things, topics that you think should be maybe addressed later on in the series. Um, what kind of stuff, you, you know. Uh, 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 quiet on the set. If you're, you're glad we got to be quiet on the set. Sorry, we got a lot of commotion here. They're building, uh, there's a TV studio next to me, and they're, I think, starting a new show. And so there's a lot of commotion with that um, going on. So what I'm trying to do is, I told the producers that I needed this time to record. Um, they said, basically, like, that's not our problem. So... You know how that goes. Um, so on a serious, or on an even serious, more serious note. Um, yeah. Hopefully we can um, talk about, talk about all kinds of things. Music. Um, The, the Lego brand, I mean, what what we like about it and what we don't, and, and just, I don't know, uh, using our imagination and just having fun. We'll probably have minifigure guests. Um, and uh, minifig requests, just kidding, I don't know, I'm just talking, so we, let's break into this set, this is a new poly bag, I only found one at the store, there was only one, I don't know if it was out by accident, this is probably supposed to be in the Christmas aisle, the Target, it's 30576 holiday tree, it's exactly what it says, a holiday tree, 70 pieces, and it is the new price poly bag. So $4.99 retail. And it's got, but it does have some plant pieces. It has a bunch of green inverted slopes. Some presents and stuff. So, I mean, we can talk about Christmas, I guess, this episode. Uh, Christmas does does affect people in different ways. There's a lot of sadness sometimes during Christmas and a lot of joy. Usually we all hope for the latter. Right? So let's oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean in this and we don't want to always be building sets. That's just sometimes a, a good way to break the ice and uh, start the therapy and there's disclaimers obviously I am not a licensed doctor or practitioner of magic <laughs> so but also yeah we could also look at mocks and stuff look at all kinds of stuff 
uh, mocks, I think, are a big part of the cure, you know. So, why don't we take and open this up. I'm going to give it just a little slit with the blade, you know what I mean. And, you know, it's... I don't mind, like, filming this thing is probably really good for me because sometimes live streaming can be a lot to handle depending on our mindsets. Um, also, I'm not into the click clickiness of stuff and the um, sometimes the turmoil in the community, you know, uh, not turmoil, but I just, I don't care about the popularity contest or the, um, oh, here's a practitioner of magic. I don't care about all that superficial stuff, so sometimes it's nice to just be able to talk to you like this, no holds barred, uh, no buts about it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to try to build this and look at the camera, hopefully. And there are all little parts. So it is 70 pieces, which you're going to say, well, it better be 70 pieces for five bucks, right? Um, a lot of them are little, so don't get too excited. They roll in the way. Oh, look at this. Nice, you do get the, you get the brown one by one with the hole, which are always useful for making trees. And it's kind of funny because we're making a tree, right? So, fitting. And you're, you're going to get an extra wand, which this is what they use for the star. And these are pretty cool. Um, but you do get an extra one. That's one of the parts that I know they always give you an extra one, so a lot of people like that. Um, can you get some of these green, these plates in green? And these are cool. These are the 3 by 3s um, So that's neat. But you get three of those. So it, it's a good part pick. I mean, you get four of these. That's pretty good. You get a lot of 1 by 1s Um... You get some dark green, one by threes, um, a lot of neat stuff. Looks like there's some colors in here that are pretty similar, so hopefully that's not an issue. And let's get building. I'll show you the instructions. Um, I'm trying to stay calm. Not every episode will be very uh, super calm. Some of you may know that. Um, Staying calm isn't always my specialty. So there's the picture on the instruction. So let's see how many steps. It's like 22 steps. Pretty nice looking poly. So let's start at the beginning. Do we, we must do the presents at the end. Oh, wow. This is actually going to be a pretty hefty tree here. So let's do it. Right, as they say in the biz. Um, maybe I can go up. So, I'm gonna put one of these on all four corners. And that's going to take that step, like that's, those are all used up now. And I have a feeling this is so, you, it's going to be like that. So that will be layered, I'm sure. Yeah, so you take another one of these and that's going to sit right on top. Lock those in. A little green sandwich of love. And then right away, we take our brown with the hole. And we take our dark greens. All right. And we take our... Okay. So then... <laughs> so then you're going to take your dark green. Put it on the back too. 
of your th one by three inverted slope. So that's where we need four of those, huh? So we'll do four. And I don't know how long these episodes will be or anything. But see what that the reason you did that you put this here is to see where this goes. So you're gonna put one of these in between each of those, and that's really neat. Um, yeah. So while we build, we can talk about whatever you, whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna talk a little bit about my stuff. I mean, just sometimes to get the ball rolling. Here we're gonna have colors. Oh no. Okay. So I don't know. Okay. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm a pro at at seeing colors. Let's see what all colors we have. We have orange, red, uh, green. Purple. Okay, so there's only so many choices. That's usually, I will do it by power of deduction. So I'm going to put an orange here. I'm going to put a red here. So you just put the, I don't know. These will go here to symbolize the centerpiece. I'm going to put a perp across from the orange because I can easily tell that those are contradicting colors. And I believe it goes green and green. I don't know. Lime, lime green for some of our Christmas bulbs. Okay. So then you're going to take your gray little uh, piece. And that goes on here. That's cute. Oh, and then it looks like they want us to do another, I hope. Oh, is this, is there blue in here too? Oh. Okay, there's blue. I didn't know that. I don't think it's, I think it's blue. Okay, so I think purple goes here. And then luckily there's some transparent ones. So there's a transparent blue for like Christmas, maybe Christmas lights. I don't know. I don't know what they're thinking. They're, they're kind of screwing me over though with the whole color thing. But that's okay. It's a Christmas tree. It doesn't be perfect. And now we'll use our last, our third and final plate. I don't know how well you can see, but you take these inverts and you put them like that. And that's cool. I'd like to get more of these uh, three by threes plates. They're nice. And then after you put that on, we're, oh good, it's all transparent on this level. So like that. And I think these are yellow. Like that. And these are going to be, they have you put them across. Like this. What do you think? Okay. Yeah, so normally I'm not always calm, and I know people have commented about that. I don't really care. Like, I have um, ADHD. I have since I was born. And it can be... Oh, cool! And that can be tough. Um, there's a lot of shame and guilt associated with that, especially from the time era when I had it. It wasn't as understood as it is now, and it definitely was not accepted or thought of as it is today. So, um, good, we're still recording. So then you take this black, these black ones, and you put it there. Okay. So that's interesting. Um, and we use another cone. And we're going to put some purples or blues or something on here. Oops. I don't know why. Oh, they do have you put them. Okay, so we're supposed to put those on before.
And you're the one so many of each color, so that's how I'm deducting this. Yeah. So it looks like that. And then you flip over your instructs. So anyway, what I was saying, okay, now we're going to use the 1x2 invert, inverted greens. You get four. So shiny. Can you see that? So we're going to use those. And this will be, we're getting close to the tip of the tree. Wow, nothing locks these down. So these technically do not get locked in from what I can see. So that's interesting because those will definitely, uh, if you're playing with your tree, like making it like rob a stagecoach or something, those can break off. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so, yeah, ADHD is what I was talking about. Uh, it does, it affects a lot of parts of, of your life, like in our society, just because, um, Or should say, I can't see the colors, so I'm trying to figure out. Um, how many of these do I have left? Because you probably have to have like one extra of each color, right? So I'm going to need this, this. Okay, so probably two of those. And then because I should have one extra of each one by one. I'm thinking, right? I really can't see that. Very good. Okay. Um, we're just going to put mine like this and hope that's got to be probably right. doesn't really matter. We're going to probably take this apart. I... Well, I don't know that I'll keep this until Christmas together. Um, I would like to buy, I'd like to get them on clearance for the parts, but uh, it's not always doable, right? But yeah, ADHD can have some effect on day-to-day -day stuff. Um, it's hard to be conscious of what you're supposed to be doing. So we're gonna have an extra one of these. So you have the green cheese wedges, which are always nice for landscaping. And those go on the top. So it really is coming together now. It looks like a little tree. And we're gonna build the tree stand. For some reason, we use a white on another brown with a hole. And then we're going to use our, our green topper. So you build a little assembly like this. I don't understand the white. It doesn't really show, but I mean, you can see it. I don't know why you wouldn't use something else. And then I'm sure then we stick stick our star in now i want to stick it down really low they show it basically just stuck in the top but there's you get i mean there's one of these so couldn't you stick the handle down in there and then your star doesn't have to be so high up yeah like that They show it, as you can see. Ooh, uh, it just sticks in there, but I like it like that. So it's up to you. I definitely would like that better. I mean, because the wand has a long part to it. Now we'll do the tree stand. The tree stand is a red circle with a black Technic pin plate. And helicopter propeller, rare, rare. So that does that, and you just stick them on there. So that's the bottom.
Okay, so the propellers will go into those inverted slopes. And they actually go in pretty nice and smooth. Yeah, that's nice. So yeah, it should stand and everything. Spinny winny. And then you we're gonna do our presents, I think, which is cool. Okay, so this is gonna be a yellow present. Um okay. that and that and that. And that's going to be a nice little present. And then for our thing. Mmm, <laughs> doesn't that look good? Tasty. Oops, I dropped it. And then we're going to take two jumpers. Red 2x2 two two jumper. And they stack up. Just like that. And there's your presents from under the... Sure. You could build tons of your own presents, obviously. So, well, we built that. We did an introduction to the show. Um, kind of want to, you know, start off subtle and slow. Maybe at some point do live streams with guests or maybe not. Depends on how I feel. So, I mean, thanks for coming. I know we didn't get too deep into it. I wanted to start off very, like, Oh, Merry Christmas. I wanted to start off slow and easy. Slow and low. That is the tempo. Um, just an idea. I mean, the show might not pan out. There might not be an interest. I mean, most of everyone's probably perfectly sane and they don't have any issues so what would they care yeah so why would they care but anyway that is i'm gonna wrap it up and thanks everybody for joining me um tell me what you think about the show idea down in the comments if you watch this far that's cool, I guess. I don't know. I'm talk oh, I was looking at this guy. <laughs> I'll talk to you, everyone later. I'll see you in the comments. You can PM me if you got any questions, comments, concerns. I don't, I don't know. I'll talk to everyone later. Bye.